Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So the Most High wants me to talk to you about your friends, your family, and your best friends, why he tells you to take advice from him only concerning your marriage. Because a lot of your friends, family, and your best friends are running secret competitions with you. And a lot of them in this day and age are in secret societies. When they're in secret competition with you, they you don't know that they want your spouse they want your life or they want your happiness and a lot of them don't sleep unless they cause one to fall like the scriptures tells you and they'll do anything for money and they'll say anything they they spread lies they spread rumors they'll say anything they'll do anything for money to destroy your marriage. They will lie on your spouse. They will lie on your children. They will lie on the person you are and your character. And they'll pay people to do it. And a lot of your friends, family, and best friends are in secret societies where they pay people to make smear campaigns about you. And God also said that the technology that they have these days, they even Photoshop people and say that they were there and they were sleeping with that person when they weren't. They And your best friends, most of them want your life. And that you shouldn't have a best friend. Your best friend should be him. Your best friend should be God. The person you're supposed to be closest with and tell all your secrets to is God. Because your friends will be jealous of your marriage. They'll be jealous of your career. They're even secretly jealous of your children and the life that you have with somebody. And then the ones, your family, friends, and best friends who are in secret society, they get paid to destroy your happiness by all means. They And they do black magic. They do witchcraft. They pay other people to lie on you. They pay other people to say that they slept with you. They'll do anything and say anything and for, for money. Um, the mo- Money is the root of all evil. And these people will do the most evil and say the most slanderous, most venomous things and use their mouth as a weapon and not to to destroy your marriage. And not only that, that they use technology. They even make fake accounts of people. They steal your spouse's pictures and they, they even say people are doing prostitution and they're not. They say that people were with somebody who they weren't. They will do anything to destroy your happiness for money. And he is is judging every one of those friends, every one of those family members, and every one of those best friends. And that your, your family members, some people's parents, and their brother and sister are jealous of their marriage because they think that that person in their family is marriage children, finances, career is better than theirs and they don't want to see them pass them in life. So they set black magic, witchcraft, make up smear campaigns and say evil things about you behind your back to your spouse and smile in your face just for money. And he is judging every single one of them who's been setting snares for your life, who's been destroying your marriage through black magic, witchcraft, lies, secret societies, gang stalking you, lying on you, doing all form of evil because they secretly want your life. They have even some of your best friends have been sleeping with your spouse have been lying to your spouse about you, have been doing so much manner of evil behind your back just to take your place and because they don't want to see you pass them in life and they feel like your life, they should have it. A lot of your friends and family want your life. Even some people's parents are jealous and envious of them and want their life and want what God has blessed their marriage with because they feel like they don't have it of their own. And these people are under judgment. Judgment has fallen on these people. And God, that's why God made me talk to you that any problem that you have with your spouse, 
take it up to him and don't seek advice from any of your friends and family because some of them are secretly jealous and envious of you and some of them are secretly and jealous and envious of your spouse. So therefore, you need to be very cautious about the things that you hear about your spouse because these people have been playing in dark magic, witchcraft, paying other people to lie on you, paying other people to slander your name, spreading rumors and gossips about you, and smiling in your face. Some of you, you, you don't even talk to. It, it's been childhood friends, people you don't even talk to, cousins, aunts, uncles, whatever, whatever family member has been envious and jealous of you and hateful of the blessings that God has blessed you with. They have, even your parents, have been brainwashing you, manipulating you, and using emotional manipulation and, and you know, manipulation tactics to destroy your mind and pollute your mind against your marriage and against your spouse just because of money and just, and some of them, just because they're envious and jealous. And they tore apart, they tore apart your happiness without you even knowing it. And God wants you to really seek him in this time and fast and pray so you can know them and know all the lies that they told on your spouse, all the lies that they paid people to tell on your spouse, all the smear campaigns and the gaslighting that they've done to your spouse and how they've done this for money and some out of jealousy and envy and been in secret competition with you, but they will never tell you. And they, some of them have been in secret competition with your spouse, but they would never tell you that. So they've lied on them and told them they were places with them that they weren't, told you that they did things and they told them things about you or told them things about themselves that was not true. They would say and they will, God said they will say anything and they will do anything to destroy someone's marriage and reputation. And they pay people to do it. Not only that, they pay people to do it. And if they're in secret societies, they get the secret society members to do it. And they have been destroying your life secretly for years. And the people who are wealthy and rich in your family, they're usually the culprits and their best friends. And your best friends are, don't call anybody your best friend because your best friend should be him. And your best friends are the ones who destroy your marriage, destroy your spouse's reputation and destroy you secretly. And some of them your best friends have been telling you evil things about your spouse because they want them. And they've been talking about to you about your spouse, telling them evil things about you so they would not want to be with you so they could be with them and have your life secretly. And God is on, these people are under severe judgment of God. You're even going to be saying some of them be put to death. His judgment because of their witchcraft, their sorcery and lies. All liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. And they have been doing this for so long. And you've trusted them because they said they're your family. They're your friends. They're your best friend. This best friend, this is this person's best friend. They couldn't be lying on them. But in actuality, they have been lying on them. They have been in secret competition, been in secret competition with your spouse. They have been jealous of your your life with your spouse. They have been jealous of your children. They have been jealous and envious of your career and your finances and your life and your marriage with that person. And, and, and not only that, they've been envious and jealous of your happiness and the love that you share with this person. And they don't believe that you deserve to have that. And they don't believe that person deserves to have that. They want it for their self. And not only that, some of them have done this just for money. And these people are under severe judgment. And he wants you to know even some of them are going to be put to death for all the lies that they told and all the witchcraft they set and all the people that they set on you to gang stalk you and smear campaign your name. They have framed people. They have conspired against people. And they've even drugged and ganged rape some of these people 
they have done so much manner of evil that only God couldn't tell you the hearts of people. That's why he says, get wisdom, but with all thy getting, get understanding. And that these people will even bite without enchantment. When he says bite without enchantment, that means they use their mouth as a weapon to lie against your spouse and to lie against you. And they, they play both sides of the fence. They'll be telling you something about your spouse and they'll be telling your spouse something about you and they'll be causing you to look at your spouse in a different way and they'll be causing you to look at them to look at you in a different way and they just keep doing this for money and they keep doing this some of them out of envy jealousy and spite and because they hate your spouse and they hate your life and the marriage blessings and union that God has blessed you with and these best friends are very evil and do not call anybody your best friend and you shouldn't have so much friends and 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 also that people in your community like whenever you're dating somebody or you're with somebody they have the most to say about them because they see your happiness and they don't have that or see that in the relationship that they have so they try to tear down yours by telling you, I seen this person with some so-and-so. They were doing this and they were doing that. And God says they even use technology. They've been taking people's pictures, making fake accounts. They've been using videos and Photoshopping and saying that this person was sleeping with that person. This person does that. They are very evil. And you know the technology we have these days. People do anything, they say anything, and he wants you to know he's going to take vengeance on their inventions, their inventions, and their secret works of darkness, and he will not suffer that these wicked people should destroy the righteous through secret works of darkness and combinations of wickedness, and through their abominations and their envy and their jealousies, and they will be severely judged. And as they've been fighting against you secretly, he is going to fight against them openly. And that they will have no, there, there's no place where the workers of iniquity may hide from what he's going to do to them. And everyone is going to know what they did, every single lie they told, every black magic they set, all the smear campaigns that they used against you, and God is putting them to shame. And the next message is, um, he wants me to talk about a new heavens and a new earth and the left behind, right? So um, I, I don't want to put that in this video. So this, God wants you to know some of your friends, your family, your best friends, your parents, um, your family members, your cousins have been doing so much evil and your family is your spouse and your children. And to read your Bible, a man and a woman leaves their parents and cleaves to their spouse, okay? And your family is you, that spouse, and your children. And don't let your family ruin your family. And don't let your friends ruin your family, your spouse, and your children because of their wickedness for money and their jealousy and envy of you. Stay blessed, beautiful people, and take this message up with fasting. And please, every, every single thing you've heard or every single thing that you saw concerning your partner, take it up to God because they have been lying and they have so much technology that they use and so many people's mouth that they've paid to tell lie on, lies on these people. And they framed people and they conspired against people and did so much manner of evil that you would never think that they would do that. And they smile in your face and they stab you behind your back. God is judging betrayals. Betrayals. Stay blessed, beautiful people of God.